Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing Laylatul Qadr. More specifically, when it is, how does one observe it, and the ruling of sleeping through it, or during it. Uh, Laylatul Qadr is connected with the last 10 nights of Ramadan, so it should be sought there. Due to his statement, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, look for the night of Qadr in the last 10 nights of the month of Ramadan. And this hadith is mutafaqun alayh, or narrated by both al-Bukhari and Muslim. Al-Bukhari also relates this with the additional wording, in the odd nights in the last ten nights of the month of Ramadan. It's sought in the night of the 27th, explicitly stated by Ahmed. And it's the statement of Ubay bin Ka'ab, Ibn Abbas, and Zer bin Hubaysh. al munakkah al-Mardawi said in al-Insaf, it was explicitly stated by him, meaning Al-Imam Ahmed, and the multitude of the Sahaba, and it's from the Mufradat. It's liked during Laylatul Qadr to perform prayer in congregation or individually, to supplicate while mentioning your needs, and it's sunnah to supplicate, Allahumma innaka afuwan tuhibu wal afwa fa'fu anni, meaning, O oh Allah, you are forgiving and love forgiveness, so forgive me. This is according to the hadith narrated by Aisha radiallahu anha where she said in wafiqtuha fabima ad'u and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said quli allahum innaka afuwan tuhibbu al afwa fa'fu anni this was narrated by Ahmed and others if one wants to sleep during Laylatul Qadr it's like to sleep cross-legged with one's back leaning against something meaning in a sitting position, as explicitly stated by him, Al-Imam Ahmed. May Allah let us observe Laylatul Qadr and have our dua answered. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.